I used Prima Sculpey to make this horse. It is very easy to work with and condition. Initially, I had a black piece of clay and I had some white. So I mixed them together until they became gray. And you know that a piece of clay has been conditioned properly when you no longer see any marbling or streaks of either color. Uh, when I had a log, I started by pressing the end to make what will be the mouth or the nose area. And then to define the head, I started pressing and squeezing around in the same spot to make the neck. And I kept just doing some adjustments to try to match the image in my head. And I was also looking at pictures of horses on my computer. Uh, to make sure that I had a, a fairly close shape. Something that I found that has helped me a lot when I'm either drawing or sculpting is to be able to see and form the shapes, the basic shapes of what I'm seeing. And this is something that I, I learned when I was taking uh, mail, you know, by mail, art course uh, one of the things that we were taught was to see the shapes and see the shape in objects or in animals or people so that instead of you viewing um, the details or getting lost in the details you start by doing the basic shape do you see for example a rectangular shape do you see a cylinder do you see an oval and then the object is to draw those shapes first and later add the details of the of whatever it is that you're making so in this case i noticed that the shape of the head was missing something so i added more clay to make up for it and then i'm just trying to smooth out and create that indentation into the mouth or the bottom part of the nose because most horses if you see them they have that shape where there it seems to be a gap in between the top of the head and the very bottom as of i the work mouth. i keep smoothing out marks that i did with my nails or the joints where you see that extra clay was added before adding any more details. Once I've done that, I, I found that the taper end of the pencil worked better to do the nostrils. And I also found that the curved shape of my nail worked good to mark where the mouth will be so that later when I came with the tool, I could just go along with it. And at this point, I also need to add the ears and it's just a triangular shape flattened and added to each side of the head i wasn't too happy with it so i removed it and i redid it and that's one of the good things about working with polymer clay that if you don't like something you could just remove it and do it again so once i was happy with the shape of the ears i made them thicker i started smoothing them into the rest of the body by pressing with the tool and doing adjustments to them. I didn't have my smoothing, you know, rubber tool with me at this point. So I just used uh, an eraser, you know, from a pencil. I'm also making the cavities where the eyes will be, I guess where the eyeballs will be. And first I made them enlarge them a little bit with the pencil. But if you have a pointy taper tool, use that. I then hold a tiny piece of clay into a small bowl. And that will be the eyeball. Since I'm using this horse to make a mold later, I'm not very uh, concerned about the color of these different pieces of clay that I'm putting on. Now, if this was going to be a final piece for this plate or whichever, then I would probably do that eyeball out of uh, black clay or any other color but not the same color of the rest of the body 
and now I'm just adding more clay on top of the eye so that it matches the shape of the head of most horses and it's not really eyebrows it looks like eyebrows here but it's more to be that edge of the bone to to simulate the shape of that it's around the eyes of a horse i'm not trying to be very exact really but i do want to come close to it or or just to the general idea of the head of a horse because i will be making a mold out of it so this is my one time doing it once i was happy with the eye i started just rolling logs or little snakes to simulate the hair. I finished the hair portion with black clay because I ran out of gray clay. I just conditioned some more. And I placed it around the head as I saw fit. Most of it you don't see in this shot. But this is what the mold looks like. And on the left, the bottom part of the screen, you see what the horse ended up looking like. I To make the mold, I use easy mold and I bought it at Joann's, however Hobby Lobby and Michaels also carry it, I believe. I didn't have white soap dough, so I had to use the gray soap dough that I had. But it's going to work out better because I will be making a soap for a little boy. And he likes horses, so this is what I'm going to put in it. And after I, I filled the cavities of the head with the gray soap dough and then the parts... With the hair, I use blue or light blue soap dough on it. And after filling in and pressing as much as I could, I did the scrape all the extras so that I don't have to do it later. I then pressed the two halves and waited a little while for it to harden some. Then I took it out and the pieces that were missing for example some pieces of hair that may have stayed in the mold i just straighten out and just define the shapes some more and also smooth out that part in the middle where the two pieces come together i also remade the holes for the nostrils and retouched the hair and also the eyes, I retouched the eyes and this is what it looks like.